27 Chester Circle. Low traffic, it's quiet, there's faint highway noise. I think you can hear Route 10 just a little bit. It's a decent street. Our neighbor to the right has a little bit of junk in their front yard, like an abandoned car in their driveway. Otherwise, the surrounding houses are well kept. Our neighbor to the left is well kept. in good shape front and back it's only one layer of shingles see the neighbors is dormered out in the back That's something we might think about doing quite a few stones are missing out of this front it's not really a retaining wall And a couple missing off the fr front of this as well. Sidewalk's in good shape. It's cracked a little further up. The driveway's in real good shape, no cracks. And it goes pretty far back. It switches over to asphalt here. There's a few spots that need siding repairs, but most of it's in pretty good shape. fairly new. There's no brand name on this one. The indoor unit's a train unit. The fence, it doesn't match all the way around. And it could use a few repairs. Shed's in pretty good shape. Some paint and small repairs. And they have the deck cut out to fit a in-ground pool or above-ground pool here. So the deck's sturdy and good shape. You might want to rebuild it so it comes out all the way rather than has a circle cut out in it. And I think we could keep the other shed and get rid of this one. Aluminum shed. Like I said, the fencing doesn't match over here. It's like wood barbed wire. The backside roof looks good. And they have a sunroof, sunroom built off the back here. This is basement access. And the foundation all the way around looks good. There's no cracks.
railing right here is, needs to be uh, secured so it's sturdy. Through the front door. Your living area. Stairs straight ahead. Bay windows in good shape. As well as the other windows. They need to just be cleaned up a little, I think, and we can save them. This room's panel. Um, the bedrooms are good drywall and upstairs good drywall. So we can take this wall out here, open up the living area to the kitchen. Cabinets are old and they don't all match. And we need countertops. There's no hardwood flooring underneath of the carpet out here. And this is laminate in the kitchen. Off the kitchen is your sunroom. I think we need uh, new sliders in here, new windows maybe. Actually. Yeah, not all of them open. Bedroom, the drywall in here is in pretty good shape. Just need paint. And you could probably save these wooden doors. Looks like they all match. And they're in pretty good shape. This is the second bedroom. The drywall in here looks good. Closet and your full bath down here. Need tile. It's got a jet tub now. And I think maybe we could save the toilets. Uh, one upstairs, or one here and one downstairs. Here's upstairs. Right now, the ceiling height makes it a little bit tight. If we wanted to turn this maybe into a master, I think dormer out the back would be a good idea. This drywall, though, is all in good shape. basement has t plenty tall ceilings to finish. Right now it's finished with panel on the ceiling and walls. This is a nice big living area here. It's a 100 amp electrical panel. The wiring looks good. Maybe we need to get a 200 amp panel. There's a full bath down here. Sorry, I left my flashlight in the car. Um, this is your indoor train unit, and ductwork looks looks good. The hot water here is in good shape. There's no rust, and it's PVC plumbing coming off. 
that seems to be in good shape. And you got washer dryer hookup back here. It's seven four to the joists in here. There's no signs of termite damage. Uh, the wood, jo the joist looks. They don't have much moisture. There's no sump pump. And last is a bedroom they got framed in down here. There's light mold at the bottom of some of the walls. With the drop down ceiling, it's seven foot in here. There's only two wooden windows upstairs.